Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So you guys asked and today I'm delivering. We're going to do a deep dive into ARK Invest Tesla stock valuation model. Yeah, you know, the one that spat out a $3,000 price target for Tesla stock in 2025 in the base case and a $4,000 price target for Tesla stock in 2025 in the bull case. Yeah, that valuation model. We'll look through ARK's assumptions, change a few figures around to see what happens in this scenario, that scenario, etc., and hopefully get a better understanding of how ARK Invest have come to their Tesla stock price targets. And I'll also be sharing my own thoughts on whether or not I think they're realistic and where I see Tesla stock in 2025. So let's get into the video. But first, hey guys, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. And if you haven't already seen my overview video of ARK Invest Tesla stock price targets, check out the card in the corner. I recommend you guys watch that video first. This is going to make a hell of a lot more sense if you do. And of course, there is a link in the description to ARK Invest full valuation model, which they've uploaded on GitHub. So you can download that yourself and also run through and play with the numbers. Here we are inside ARK Invest Tesla stock valuation model downloaded from GitHub. We can see there's two components here. We've got the Tesla valuation. We've also got the Monte Carlo simulations, which we'll talk about in a moment. For now, let's get into the Tesla valuation tab. So just to familiarize everyone with what we're looking at here, the 2025 suggested share price, $4,128. That is the variable that we'll be paying attention to by changing these inputs around and seeing how they impact it. This is going to give us a sense of how much emphasis, how much weight ARK Invest puts on each of these drivers. So the key drivers here, we've got gross margin, Capital efficiency, that's how much it costs to build each unit of capacity. The maximum rate of production increase a year over year. The number of cars sold into a human-driven ride-hailing network in 2025, as in human drivers but not fully autonomous, and the percent of all Teslas in an autonomous fleet in 2025. These are the major key drivers according to ARK Invest in their valuation model. Let's just see what would happen in a crazy scenario where we had a 50% gross margin. See, how would that affect the valuation? I suspect this will be a pretty big impact. Let's find out. Let's double this to 50%, extremely high, but just to see what happens. We've seen a $1,000 increase in the suggested share price for 2025. That is a big difference. Of course, 50% margins are pretty generous as well. Tesla keeps driving their costs down. I suspect, honestly, over the long term, this is more likely to float around the 30% range. So I'm actually going to put in 30%, a little bit higher than Arcad, and we'll see where we end up. A little bit over $4,400 per share. Now, in terms of the capital efficiency, this is how much it costs to build out a unit of capacity. So that's all the costs associated with building new factories, getting vehicles off lines, dividing all of your expense by how many vehicles you're producing from that facility per year. So let's just say that Tesla becomes even more capital efficiency. I think with their manufacturing prowess, their new techniques, their innovation, etc. This is realistic. Let's just push this down to 5,000. Will this make much of a difference? Another hundred or so dollars to the share price. Not huge. Now, this is a very interesting one. Maximum annual production increase. This is the rate of production increase year over year. 90% is extremely aggressive, practically doubling every year. Let's just say that we cut that down to around 50%, which is what Tesla over the long term are aiming for. Keeping in mind that year over year, 2020 to 21, we probably will see 100% growth, maybe even more. Tesla likely to deliver over 1 million vehicles this year. Let's see what happens if we change this down to 50%. We can see massive difference to the share price. Obviously, this relates to volume. The more vehicles on roads, the more vehicles producing ride hailing revenue, etc., the higher margin revenue, blah, 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 blah. So this has a massive compounding effect. In terms of human drivers on the ride hailing network, I'm actually going to slash this down to zero because I'm thinking if Tesla solves autonomous vehicles, why even bother having human drivers on the network? Let's see how this affects the valuation. It basically doesn't budge at all. I mean, in fact, it's actually increased because obviously with a human driven network, more overhead, not as profitable a business. So I totally get this. As for the percent of all Teslas in autonomous fleets in 2025, this for me is probably the single hardest variable to understand and guess at accurately. First of all, it's going to be very disruptive and different. So it's hard for me to put myself into the future and think even with the economies, even with the fact that it's much lower, is everyone going to massively adopt ride hailing? And if so, what do owners of vehicles do? Do you leave your vehicle sitting at home, not making you tens of thousands of dollars per year autonomously in the background while you sleep, literally? Or do you deploy it on the network and know that there'll be a few strangers using your car, blah, 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 blah. This is a really hard one for me to pick. But assuming that Tesla can deploy their robo-taxis globally, I actually think that this could be higher than 60%. 
but we're going to be really conservative in this first run through. I'm actually going to cut this down to just 50% one in two Teslas on the network, even though they can all autonomously drive. Some owners don't want people using their cars, some do. This brings us to a very conservative $2,562 per share for Tesla stock in 2025. I personally think that this is a reasonable bear case. Now, I know that I've increased the margin here and I've decreased the CapEx efficiency, but I've also decreased the annual production increases quite a bit. I think Tesla can grow production faster than 50% per year. So just at a glance with these key inputs, I actually think now we're looking at a fairly conservative scenario. Conservative but realistic scenario for Tesla, okay? This isn't a worst case, but this is conservative in my opinion. And just to look through some of the other inputs, just for your information, we won't change these too much, but we've got the balance sheet assumptions, percent of factory built debt funded, so how much debt is being raised versus cash for new facilities. I'm a big fan of borrowing money as much as you can, so I would hope Tesla's borrowing at least 60% for new facilities, but time will tell. Under the margin assumptions, we have some interesting things. Rights law factored in here as well. Factory utilization factor set at 95%. Obviously, with Tesla production constrained, this is likely to continue for some time. But we do have to acknowledge that a 95% utilization rate of factories is extremely high. But if Tesla can't make enough vehicles to meet supply, this is likely to continue for the long term. Now, some more assumptions here that I just want to look at. The insurance assumptions. ARCA suggesting that in 2025, the percent of cars sold with Tesla insurance will be 40%. Now, based on what I understand, Tesla's telematics, all the additional information they can have on drivers, there won't be anyone in the marketplace who can cost-effectively compete with Tesla insurance once it's widely released. It just will not be possible because no one else has the data. I think that the number of Teslas sold with Tesla insurance is going to be much higher than 40%. Once the insurance product is cost-competitive with everyone, might take a few years. In 2025, I think that's realistic. I'm actually going to bump this up to 65%, basically two-thirds of Tesla customers using Tesla insurance. We'll see what that does to the price. Almost nothing. So clearly Tesla insurance are not that important to ARK Invest model. I'm going to bring that back to 40%. Miles traveled per year in a robot taxi. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit to 100,000. We can see not a huge change to the share price. Now, just for fun, I'm going to actually cut those miles in a third down to 35,000 miles per year. Be super, super conservative on the ride hail. Now we've got a $1,524 per share price target for Tesla stock in 2025. In my opinion, this is about as conservative as I can be with this model. Of course, I am assuming that Tesla does solve autonomy, but we can see with the latest videos from Full Self Driving Beta that they are just around the corner. And what do you know? Me attempting to be conservative using my own inputs in ARK Invest Tesla stock valuation model. In my bear case, I've spat out a price target of just over $1,500 per share pretty much bang on the spot that ARK Invest ended up with their own variables. Now, let's run through with a slightly more bullish scenario, something that I think is likely, not certain, but likely rather than conservative or aggressive. We're now gonna move over to the average selling price tables in the valuation model, which we haven't even looked at yet. Based on my realistic, maybe a little bit bullish scenario, we've got a $4,200 per share price target. Let's see what happens when we change these figures. Now, just to give you guys a breakdown of what we're looking at here, these are the average selling prices for each vehicle. And we can see here, ARCA assuming that the Model A, aka the Model 2, whatever it's being called at this point in time, that's Tesla's $25,000 vehicle. But ARCA is also suggesting, and I'm on board with this one, that over the long term, Tesla's gonna have another model after that. In fact, I've already talked about the model after the Model 2 in videos six plus months ago. I'm sure it's coming. I estimate, like ARC, around fifteen, maybe eighteen thousand dollars per vehicle in terms of the selling price. So ARC are actually assuming that Tesla will continue to deliver on new vehicles over time as well. Average selling price of the S and X around ninety-five thousand dollars. Total addressable market half a million vehicles per year. Model Three average selling price fifty thousand. Model Y fifty-three. I'm actually going to reduce these a little bit. I'm going, even though I think this is my sort of more realistic scenario. I'm actually going to bring this down to forty-seven thousand dollars for the Model Three. I'm going to $49,000 for the Model Y. I think that over time, they keep driving the prices down. This is a little bit more realistic. I think the Cybertruck at $55,000 with the 2.5 million unit market, reasonable. The Model A, the Model 2, whatever you want to call it, average selling price, $2,000 above the starting point. I think this is fair. The Neighborhood EV, I'm actually going to bump this to about $18,000 as well. I'm also going to reduce the total addressable market from $100 million down to $75 million, just to be a little bit more conservative. Let's see what effect, if any, this has on the valuation. $4,188, pretty minimal impact there. And the last thing to account for is ride hailing miles. So just to explain what's going on here, we can see here that at a premium to Uber at $4 per mile, there's basically gonna be no miles traveled on the Tesla ride hailing network, why? Too expensive. But if Tesla can get to price parity around $2 per mile, suddenly we're looking at doing 30 billion miles per year in cumulative miles, but if Tesla can scale their fleet even further, we see we have this scaling effect. 
If Tesla can get their price per mile to $1, that means that the total addressable market there, possibly 100 billion miles. What if it continues to scale further? If we can get down to 25 cents per mile, which I think is a realistic longer term goal, there could be 15 trillion miles driven in autonomous ride hailing vehicles. This is super, super important. Basically, this model is showing that if Tesla can't drive their prices below Uber, not a big market. If they can drive their prices below Uber and like, duh, no driver, I mean, it's not going to be that difficult, right? They're going to have a f***ing gigantic total addressable market for the ride hailing service. And now we get to the meat and bones of this video, the Monte Carlo simulation. So let's get over to the Monte Carlo tab and figure out what in the actual f*** is going on. All right, nerds, strap yourselves in. We're getting down in the weeds. We're now looking at the Monte Carlo valuation. So just to give you guys a really general overview of what a Monte Carlo simulation is. Now, this is just a really generalized example. The whole idea here is you input your absolute worst case scenario, your absolute best case scenario, then also some more realistic worst and best case, plus maybe something down the middle. Then you run these simulations and what will happen is a bunch of random inputs are generated, all sorts of different scenarios. And what you end up with doing thousands and thousands of these simulations is a probability distribution. This is a really interesting approach, but I think it's also a great way to use a lot of probabilistic stuff and figure out, okay, where is the actual median scenario here? Now, I know that this isn't perfect. There are some scenarios, for example, here where Tesla's valuation as a company is actually massively negative and like, how does that happen unless Tesla somehow goes bankrupt and beyond going bankrupt also owes creditors like tens and hundreds of billions of dollars. So maybe not so realistic. And we can see here over in the price distribution, if we look across here, the price target distribution, we can see the vast majority of price targets somewhere around that 1,000, 500, 2,000, 3,000 sort of dollar range. We've got some price targets here though that are literally negative, which is quite funny. Also all the way up to $23,000, $24,000 per share. So these Monte Carlo simulations will include some absolutely absurd scenarios. But the idea is if you run enough of these simulations with enough variation, what you're going to get is a distribution of probability that's reasonably on target. Not perfect, but a really interesting technique. I won't spend too long in the Monte Carlo simulation. I think if you guys want to download your own version of the GitHub valuation model from ARK Invest, I highly recommend you do it. This is a really good opportunity for you to play around with the figures. But just quickly, let's see if we adjust a few of these and see where we get up to. At the moment, we've got a $3,217 expected price target in 2025. I'm actually going to reduce the gross margin minimum just a tiny bit to 15%. Actually put the maximum up to 85% and the bull case up just a little bit as well. I think Tesla can achieve a little bit higher margins than most people are expecting. I'm also going to increase the probability that RoboTaxis launch. ARK have got it at 50%. I actually think, honestly, we're closer to about 80-85%. I'll be conservative, use 80% here. Maximum annual production increase. We've got a minimum 20% rate. I'm actually going to bump that to 25%. we have got a bear case of 50%, a bull case of 110%. I'll bump that a little bit to 125%. I know it sounds crazy. ARK, I don't know what these guys were smoking for the 500% maximum case there, but holy smokes, dude. I mean, it is possible. It is possible, but I'm actually going to say 150% for the maximum rate of growth. Factory utilization rates can stay the same. Percent of cars sold with Tesla insurance in 2025, I actually think a bull case closer to 80%. I'm going to reset all of the human driven ride hailing figures to zero because as I mentioned, I actually don't think it makes sense to do this if you've solved autonomy. Miles traveled per robotaxi, worst case, I'm actually going to go with 10,000 miles, very, very low. Best case scenario, I'm actually going to say about 130,000 for the best case. I mean, it's possible that this could be more, but I'm just trying to be a little bit conservative. And I'm going to put 110,000 miles for the bull case. Tesla taking a 20% platform cut in the worst case, 40%, 60 and 70. I'm actually going to say up to 80% here. Probably going to put this around 65% in the bull case. And that gets us to $3,216 per share for the expected 2025 price target. After all that, there is a $1 difference with my price target and the original price target, the valuation model, the Monte Carlo model was spitting out before I touched any of those figures. So there you go. Obviously, the things that I've adjusted in aggregate bring us back to basically the same point anyway from a slightly different path. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this deep dive into ARK Invest Tesla stock valuation model. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I saw a ton of you asking for this in their comments, so happy to deliver. And I'm also really curious to hear your thoughts about ARK Invest process. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think of ARK Invest Tesla stock price targets and their valuation model, the use of the Monte Carlo simulations, and also what's your bull case price target and bear case price target for Tesla stock in 2025? And don't forget, you can download your own copy of ARK Invest Valuation Model. There's a link in the description. I highly recommend you guys do exactly that. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all.
And don't forget, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.